Hi friends, welcome to my channel Optometry Online. The topic for today's video is MCQ questions of ophthalmology eyelids. Let's go to the first question. Which of the following cranial nerve innervates the orbicularis muscle? Options are op oculomotor, option B trigeminal, option C facial, option D trochlea. The answer is option C facial nerve. All the following um, are the malignant tumors of eyelid except basal cell carcinoma, option B, sebaceous gland carcinoma, squamous papilloma, and option D, squamous cell carcinoma. The answer is option C, squamous papilloma, which is a benign condition. The, all the uh, rest of the options are malignant conditions. Third question, the extra row of lashes present in the mebomin gland or the face is called as dystichiasis, option B, trichiasis, Option C, poliosis. Option D, hypertrichosis. The answer is option A, dystichiasis. Fourth question, which of the following orbicularis muscle is involved in forced eyelid closure? Option A, pretarsal. Option B, preceptal. Option C, orbital muscle. The answer is the orbital part of the orbicularis ocula is involved in the forced eyelid closure. Next one. A hardiolum internum is an acute infection of which of the following gland? Options are Zeiss gland, mole gland, mebomin gland. The answer is, option is a mebomin gland, uh, whereas a hardiolum externum involves a Zeiss gland and hardiolum internum involves a mebomin gland. Next question, ptosis and midriasis is seen in which of the following conditions? Facial palsy, peripheral neuritis, oculomotor palsy, Sympathetic palsy. The answer is ocular motor palsy because uh, third nerve is involved uh, for the eyelid elevation and uh, pupillary constriction. So, a palsy of the third nerve can cause ptosis and midriasis. Next question Which of the following innervates the levator palpebral muscle? Ocular motor, trigeminal, facial, trochlea. So, just now we have seen this question. The answer is oculomotor. The most common complication of the lag of thalmos is options are conjunctivitis, exposure keratitis, option C trichiasis, option D ectropion. The answer is option B exposure keratitis because there is an inadequate closure which can cause uh, uh, coronal exposure which can lead to exposure keratitis. Sling surgery should be avoided in ptosis because of uh, A, poor LPS action, poor Bell's phenomenon, option C, weak Muller's muscle, option D, multiple failed surgery. The sling surgery should be avoided in patient with um, poor Bell's phenomenon because there is a risk of developing lag of thalmus post-surgery. Name the condition associated with the vertical shortening and horizontal lengthening of eyelids. The condition is termed as option A, UG blephron, option B, ankyla blephron, option C, epicanthus, option D, epi blephron. So the condition has been uh, depicted here. So the answer is option A, UG blephron. Next question. Pediclosis of the eyelid is typically caused by which lice? Head lice, body lice, pubic lice, none of the above. So the answer for this question is option C pubic lice, which is responsible for the pediclosis of eyelid. Next one. Which of the following is not an etiology for eyelid ectropion? Options are involutional type, seventh nerve palsy, orbital tumor, cicatrical scarring. So the option is orbital tumor, which doesn't cause an ectropion, whereas the, all the other can cause an ectropion. Next question, which of the condition commonly cause posterior blephritis? Acne rosacea, vitiligo, hemangioma, hives. The answer is acne, it can cause commonly cause posterior blephritis. All the following are causes for eyelid ptosis except Horner syndrome, third nerve palsy, hyperparathyroidism, myasthenia gravis. So, all can cause eyelid ptosis except option C, hyperparathyroidism. Next question. 
The treatment for the acute internal hordeola may include each of the following except uh, options are cold compression, light massage, systemic antibiotic therapy, surgical intervention and drainage. So the answer is cold compression. We usually give a hot compression. So this is the one which is incorrect. Next question is about Horner's syndrome. Ptosis in Horner's syndrome is due to paralysis of which of the following muscles? Violin muscle, Horner's muscle, Muller's muscle, the LPS. So the answer it is a Muller's muscle because it is a sympathetic uh, uh, palsy. So Muller's muscle is involved so which, due, due to which there is a ptosis and the pupillary dilatation has been blocked. So there is a pupillary constriction. Ulcerative blepharitis is caused by which of the following condition? Staphylococci, Streptococci, Propionibacterium, Voraxella. The answer is Staphylococci. The anterior and the posterior lamella of the eyelid is separated by which anatomical mark? Eyelash, mucocutaneous junction, gray line and the medial canthal tendon. So the answer is... Um, gray line which of the following syndrome the motor nerve to the external pericoid muscle is misdirected to the ipsilateral levator muscle the options are marcus gunn syndrome duen syndrome blepharophimosis horner syndrome the answer is marcus gunn syndrome pseudotosis is seen in which of the following condition the ipsilateral hypotropia contralateral lid retraction enophthalmos all of the above the answer is all of the above. In all the uh, cases, there is a pseudotosis which is seen. So that's all for the video today. If you like my channel, kindly like, share and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.